Hi everybody, how are you today? Welcome to Art Talk Tuesday. My name is Jackie G and I'm with Gortzman's Art Supplies here in Toronto. For those of you that are tuning in anywhere across North America and beyond, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. I've got my notes ready with all the things that I want to talk to you about and today's topic is going to be stocking stuffers. Um, and I've been so looking forward to this one. Not that I don't look forward to talking to you or seeing you or speaking or chatting with you every week, but I get excited about certain topics because to me it's a lot of fun just to be able to show you all the things that are under certain price points in order to introduce someone to art supplies, uh, incorporate something that they've got already in their studio, something for yourself that you haven't really thought about that you may want to give a hint to someone else for you um, but it is I had a lot of fun with this one and so did the staff their ideas were absolutely amazing just want to mention that if you can stay tuned to the end because there's going to be a bit of a surprise uh, so if you can join us a um, couple things that I just want to uh, mention to you while we're having this chat and before I get started showing you everything that's on the table and beyond um, the holidays are coming quicker than we think and each, for the past couple of years, and since we've been doing a lot of shipping to all of you, we've had to come up, unfortunately, with cutoff dates in what we feel is going to be great for you to receive your packages. The couriers are busy. They've already sent notices. They're already telling us that there could be delays. So we've got an absolute cutoff if we are shipping it from the store of December the 13th. Now you can come and visit us anytime. We are here seven days a week. So if you wanna stop in and do your shopping, uh, we'll be open until Christmas Eve at 3 p.m. Uh, so you have lots of options in order to get all the supplies that you need uh, before the actual holiday season. And I know that Kanika starts in about uh, two weeks, so you've still got a bit of time to do your shopping. I can't say that if you order by the 13th that you'll get it in time, but we will certainly do our best to uh, help you out. A um, couple things that I just wanted to bring up. First of all, still shipments arriving. There have been major delays uh, by a lot of our suppliers. We are still waiting for our Posca shipment. It's been taking quite a while. Uh, Tintoretto brushes, yes, they are absolutely arriving again. We have a really nice ship shipment arriving of Tintoretto. There are a few new items in that order. It was supposed to be here today, so I kind of hope that I would be able to sort of do an unboxing while I was talking to you, but I don't think it's going to arrive just yet. Uh, so Tintoretto is going to be back in the house. Also, we've had some requests about Michael Harding watercolors, and I just want to put all your concerns to rest. The Michael Harding watercolors have only been made available in England for the moment while they work out all the kinks and any issues which is great for us so that when we finally get it it will be absolutely perfect also for bringing it into North America they have to do certain toxicology tests and things like that so that's where the delay is we do not expect to see Michael Harding watercolors till probably end of January or sometime in February so not to worry, we're really on top of all of it. We know that it's going to be arriving, uh, just not yet. So be patient. Um, there are other things, as I say, coming in. We're just trying to be patient. As I say, couriers and suppliers are still working through all their kinks. We still have more Da Vinci brushes coming in. There's some really nice ones I was hoping to have before the holiday. Um, but at this rate, I don't know. We will have them anyways. And anything that I show today uh, or anything that I talk about is always available in store or on our website, uh, gwartzmans.com. You can check it out and uh, see what there is. If you ha ever have any questions, you know, you can hear the phone ringing in the background. So we still have staff that answer the phone and, and can chat with you. You can send us an email. You can connect by social media. Whatever works for you, we are here. Um, so... That being said, uh, there's some really cool stuff. And so what we wanted to do was show you all the great things that you can buy for someone or for yourself that is under a certain price point. And we know that stockings are generally on the smaller side. And if any of you follow or have seen our other 
IGTV videos, which you can see on YouTube or on Instagram, um, you know that we did a video showing all the things that can fit in the palm of your hand. And I think we're going to be adding to that because it's a really cool idea. And we found a lot of things that actually fit in the palm of your hand. So that being said, we decided to take that idea and expand on it a little bit and show the things that will fit into your stockings. And we sort of divided it under uh, certain price points. So the greatest thing about this is, is that the majority of my table are actually items that are under $25. And so the whole idea is, is that we want you to be able to put something in for someone that is useful, that is different, that is unique. It is something that they may or may not have thought of. Maybe you didn't think of it, but that's what we're here for, and all under 25. So I could highlight everything because I think they're absolutely amazing, uh, but I think I'll point out a few unique items just so that it gives you an idea. But as I say, everything from this point forward, and I don't know, Michelle, if you can turn the camera a little bit, from this point forward, these are all under $25. So this is $25 before tax, so don't uh, say that it was, yeah, tax is a little bit more. This is under $25 before tax. And it covers everything that you can imagine that someone may want. It could be, and these are actually great, these are made in Toronto. These are pins. So these are really cute. They're very, very popular to Canadian uh, Toronto artists that are making them. We stock a really lovely range of them. Perfect for a stocking stuffer for any age group. If you've got someone who loves charcoal, you can't go wrong with a Neatrim set to introduce them to the Neatrim charcoal. It's all encompassing. This is under $20 and it really is nicely packaged, comes with everything that you need. Um, if you're someone who wants to try block printing, this is a great set from Esty. Again, totally affordable. The only thing it doesn't have is the paper, and you can still make this under $25 if you want to add some paper to it. We love Puni Labo. These Puni Labo come in all different characters. I just happened to grab the rabbit because he's just so cute, but there's all different kinds. And if you haven't seen these, these are made to stand, so the bottom comes out, it's got the zipper. This is perfect for any range of age. So Great. Again, easy. Fits in the stocking. We threw in all kinds of tools that we really like. So this is a favorite of Alexander, uh, and this is a great magnifier that also holds small products. So if you're trying to paint either something small or draw from it, this is absolutely fantastic. I uh, also pulled out uh, for tools. Let me just think here. We also have the brush stand. This is by Foamy. So if you're looking for something nice, comes in a really nice bag. Again, metal. That's what Foamy is known for. And this is under $20. Um, if you want something, we're for cleaning. Artists, you always need to clean. You got to keep yourself, your tools, everything cleaned up. We have these great sets. This has been around for, uh, geez, I can't remember how many years we've had this product now by General Pencil. This is their master's cleaning products. This is a great little set that has their soap, which smells absolutely sort of like mint or spearmint. And the Kiss Off, I know the name is crazy, but it works 100%. Uh, so this is a really nice tool to have. You can go with Winsor Newton Art Guard or the Olive Soap from Tintoretto. Again, all small all fit in the stockings, all are so cute. You can also throw in staff choice, you know, nail brush, got to keep those nails clean after you've been painting a whole day. Um, you could go with some really cool stuff for pen and ink. We have this beautiful line of inks for dip pen by Zillers out of Florida. This is a family run business, which I've talked about before. If you have not seen the colors, they are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, everywhere from golds, metallics, to all your bright blues, pinks, and purples. And of course, perfectly paired with that would be a dip pen set from Speedball. They make a few different sets. This just happens to be one of them that we grabbed to show you. Uh, but what a, what a really nice idea uh, for that. Watercolors are still huge. And so we pulled all kinds of watercolor sets. Actually, this one goes over here all kinds of watercolor sets that are, again, under the 
20, most of them are under $25 range. Uh, all different qualities. This is by Roman Small. For those of you that are not familiar with Roman Small, it is an artist quality from Poland. Uh, if you haven't checked out his product yet, it is amazing. They come in large cakes. We have all different sets. Uh, so these are really, really beautiful. Again, under the $25 range. And then of course, we've always got the tried and true with all kinds of cakes. So if you're adding it to what you do, or you want to introduce someone to watercolors, this is like an endless range of color. All you need is a brush or a brush set. Again, paired with that, this brush set is under $15. So it's again, really affordable. Got lots of brushes, choices in it. This is just one of about 25 different sets that we have. So we can certainly show you all the different kinds that there are. We've got these great flip kits. So if you're traveling and you want something easy, look how small that is. Can't go wrong. Fits in my hand so you can see that it's just that tiny. And oh, this is new. Just got this in. Uh, Pebio. Uh, Pebio uh, gum masking fluid uh, has been requested quite a bit. So now we have them in the pen and the bottle. But wanted it small so we chose the pen very handy for anybody going out and about or traveling uh, so it's a great tool to have and again talking convenient Viviva watercolor sheets if you haven't seen these before we love this product uh, these are sheets of watercolor so you, it only is wet when you put your brush on it. There's a layer of paper that goes in between so that it won't make a mess everywhere. Uh, so we've had people carrying these many, many different ways. Again, really nice set, whether you buy one or both, uh, they're very, very cool. And of course, to go with your watercolors, you need to have paper. And we could pull all kinds, but we wanted to keep it easy for you to see the choices. This is a fluid watercolor paper. Uh, the paper's from the Netherlands. They come in all different sizes, hot press, cold press. Uh, what I like about these blocks is that they're only sealed on two sides, making it really easy that you can always remove uh, a sheet when you want to take it out. Um, and I think I have another one here that I wanted to show you. Again, I'm sorry if I'm talking fast. I want to make sure that you just sort of get an idea of all this cool stuff. Oh, there we go. These are also beautiful from Hannimal. Uh, you've had, heard me talk about Hannimal from Germany. Uh, they make some great, great pads. Again, this is a smaller one. This is one of their new ones, I believe, that's 100% rag paper, under $25. So it's still a convenient and it's still very, very affordable to go with the beautiful paints that you're going to want. Um, we also have, also staff favorite, these are from SMLT. We have a few different kinds. There's been delays on some shipments coming out of Lithuania, uh, but we do have a few choices. I happen to pick two of them. Uh, there is a size larger in the square. Again, very handy. These are under $10. Again, looks really great. Um, also, someone who wants an empty palette for putting in their own cakes. You know, there's a lot of people who collect a lot of colors over the years. Uh, these we stock made in a variety of brands, whether it be our own brand, the Whiskey Painter, or Foamy. Uh, and these are great to hold all of your cakes. They all come with the thumb or finger holder. So if you're left or right handed, it will work for both. Uh, again, always affordable. Um, oh yes, now I'm not going to wrap these because once we take the wrapping off, it's we're not going to be able to get them back on very well. These are handmade books. This is a sister uh, brand out of uh, Korea and they're Hanadori. They are gorgeous, all hand printed. These are beautifully they're, they're covered, I realize that, but you know what, when you get it off and you see what's inside, uh, small, affordable, supporting a you know small business and uh, handmade, all beautiful inks that they've used. Uh, we have these in store again and on the website. And just to keep it easy, we've got a great line. Now I picked this one, this is from Royal Talons. This is their, some of their new sketchbook line. 
What is cool about this surface is this is their craft one and you could actually paint that. You could use your Poscas, you could use your gel pens, you know, any kind of pen to go with that if you wanted to. And speaking of pens, I've got to show you all the cool pens. Now, the pens are endless, so we couldn't show you the whole pen, otherwise I'd show you the pen wall. Uh, but we wanted to show you things that were, again, easy and cool colors. And of course, you've got the Sakura jelly rolls. We've got Microns, tried and true for the Micron pens. And of course, one of our favorites, if you're an urban sketcher or if you want to learn urban sketching, or if you want to also just try calligraphy, uh, these from uh, pens from Sailor are absolutely wonderful. Uh, they are all in Japanese writing, but that shouldn't stop you from, uh, we can tell you how to use it and give you some ideas. They're also all over the internet, so I would certainly check them out. Um, what else do we have here? Oh my goodness, I just got too excited about everything. For tools, again, these are beautiful scissors that we have. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. So if you're looking to give someone just something different, you know, whether you keep this for yourself and you have it in your craft room, if you keep it in your kitchen or whatever you want in your studio, uh, these are absolutely beautiful. What they, they did, just so you understand why it is rounded like that, because the belief is with the rounded curve is that it's not going to tear your paper when you're cutting it. So it, although it looks really cool, there is a purpose to that. Um, we also put out, you know, small canvases. Why not? You can get small wood panels. We have a line from Ampersand. They make these really, really cool small panels. Again, either for yourself or introducing someone to something really neat. Um, always handy. An artist always needs stuff that's very handy. I also wanted to show this, which some of you might be familiar with. This is sort of what the original tech pens were. This is based off the same idea. Uh, this is a Koenor Rapido sketch. So if you are familiar with the tech pens, you're going to recognize that very, very fine tip. This one is made for drawing. So you're not going to do your, your old fashioned, you know, the traditional, uh, I don't mean old fashioned, I do mean traditional tech pen drawings. Uh, this is a little bit different. Um, it's got a very simple cartridge, but this comes with the bottle of ink in the kit. Sorry, I'm just gonna close it up, but it does work like the tech pen. So we've had a lot of people really interested in that one. So we do have these as well. Again, small, compact. We've got Fimo clay of all different kinds, some cool scented erasers. I mean, you can't go wrong. And again, this is all things under the $25 mark. Uh, we wanted to show you, these are Rembrandt half stick pastels, uh, soft pastels. Again, absolutely beautiful range. They come in a set of 10. You can also get sets of five. There's lim unlimited choices. Uh, we have them all here. And of course, we just had a customer in who was buying someone like a really nice set of drawing pencils. So we've got all different brands uh, for drawing pencils. We recommend all of them. Uh, all different price points. Uh, Faber-Castell 9000 is tried and true and if you're looking at companies that are uh, really looking after the environment in their processing, Faber-Castell is certainly one of them. I'm not saying that the others aren't, but they do have on their website uh, videos of how they uh, dispose of all of their chemicals and things like that. Watercolor pencils from Winsor Newton. They make a beautiful range of all different sets now. Uh, this happens to be the watercolor pencils because they are still very, very popular. Comes in a nice aluminum tin. Again, looks great. And if you pair that with, you know, one of these little pads, uh, we've got endless ideas for you that would help you out. Um, also, had to show this one just because we just got it in. Uh, this is from the National Gallery, and you know I'm a huge fan of all the sets we have from the National Gallery. This happens to be a small set of drawing pencils, uh, so I thought this was just kind of neat because you get six basic pencils. Again, it's nice and small. It's in a metal tin, so if someone is you know, looking just to carry something small with them, you know, wherever you're going, this is going to be perfect, so you don't need the bigger set unless you want it. And also... This is also from Hanimal, comes in a nice metal tin as well. These are um, postcards, 
really cool, really nice. So I still send postcards. I know it sounds insane, but I love sending postcards. So when I travel or anywhere I am, I'm always sending out postcards to anybody that will want to get one from me. Um, but this is a, a really, really great idea. And we've had these for quite a while. Oh, another tool that is just so cool. Oh, a couple other choices. Wow, I can see I can go on forever just under the $25 mark. The view catcher. So anybody who's out doing, um, uh, if you're doing anything outside, you know, you're doing landscapes or you really want to just focus on a very small part of what you want to paint from something else. Uh, the view catcher has been around for many, many years. Uh, very, very popular. Again, not too expensive and a really cool tool to uh, give someone that they may want to try. Um, I know this was one of Claudia's choices because I know she uses these in her studio. These are catalysts from uh, Princeton and we have all different types. This just happens to be one of them. It also happens to be a really beautiful color turquoise. So you can't go wrong either because you like the tool or you like the color. Doesn't really matter. They're all going to be very, very useful. Whether you do encaustic, if you do acrylic, if you want to work them with any of your, your waxes, uh, just a very, very neat. If you're doing modeling paste, just imagine, you know, drawing it along your, your modeling paste or any of your mediums before you go and paint it. And of course, we've got Conte in the house. So, you know, again, something useful, tried and true, and someone can always uh, use it. So I did want to show you that is, I mean, there's going to be more, right? It is going to be endless. But this was under the $25 mark. We did pull a few other things. So we went under the $50 mark, just to give you an idea, if you still want something that's small, something that's useful that's going to be under $50. And I'll show a few of them uh, because I don't really want to drive you crazy with all the things that we have because I want you to come in or contact us, ask us questions. So this just arrived. This is from Van Gogh. Again, one of my favorite artists. Uh, so this is the Van Gogh uh, pocket box that just arrived. Really cool set. Very small, compact, just like that. This set is $48.99, so it's just under the $50 mark. We have lots of watercolor sets like this uh, that's under that range. I happen to, as I say, I'm a fan of Van Gogh, so I had to show you this one. So it's that set. Then we have some of the Kurataki sets. So if you want something in pretty colors, so there's that one that's available. We also have this one from Kurataki, also a watercolor set, very, very popular, beautiful colors. Uh, this one is also, this is under the $50 range, really nice set. I'll just show the back so that you can see it there. So there's the back of the set, gives you an idea of what's in the box. And, oh yes, we wanted to show, because another one of my faves is the r &F. So these are their half sticks. Actually, these are technically around the $25 mark, but we, because they're just above, we wanted to put them under the 50. If anybody, an oil, an oil painter or an acrylic, acrylic painter hasn't tried the r &F sticks, they are really amazing. Uh, so I just wanted to show that because if you really are going to go into RNF, then you have to show the full sticks, which look like that. And these are all pure pigment, whether you go with the half stick or the full stick. Um, these, as I say, are under the $50 mark. Uh, these individually will be under the $50 mark, depending on the color that you choose. And they're all gorgeous. In fact, if you can see the display behind me, you can see the full, a lot of the range that we carry, and they are gorgeous. I love showing what, you know, things that artists need. Now, this happens to be a two-pack. This is the Georgian Oil two-pack. This is still under the $50 range. What is amazing is these are 225 mil tubes. So they're the only company that makes a tube this large. Um, and, and another thing that I will be writing about is one thing with art materials, we have not seen shrinkflation that everybody's talking about. So when you're buying a 225 mil tube, that's what you're getting. I mean, they haven't changed these. So this is a great deal if you know someone who uses a lot of oil paint. Uh, Rowney is a very old company. It's over 100 years old. So you're getting a great brand, great product, 
and great price. Um, just wanted to show, you know, some of the other cool products, you know, whether you go with something different by Schminke, with, which is their, their new um, liquid charcoal. Oh my goodness, I should remember what these things are. We've got these cool pencils, these tool pencils, which a lot of you are familiar with by Monteverde. It's got all these things attached. We just think these are a very, very handy product. Sorry, Michelle, if I should move it a certain way. It's like a five-in-one kind of thing, does everything but cook your dinner. Um, and, of course, we've got all kinds of travel brushes. So these happen to be by Da Vinci. And, of course, for those of you that have tuned in before when I've shown them, we have all these brushes by Tintoretto. This is a synthetic uh, squirrel hair brush. So when you use it, it looks really cool when you use it. And then when you put it in, you've got something that fits in your hand and is totally portable. So more ideas, things that are small, things that will fit into your, um, into whatever your stocking is. And then we did one under 100. So we didn't pull as many things for that because we really wanted to focus on the 25 and under uh, range. Again, this is not everything, but we're here to show you just some of the things. So again, keeping it small. We are huge fans of Beam Paints. Uh, this set is actually under $60. There are a lot of different sets. Uh, this is made by um, Anong Beam. Her, her company is in Manitoulin Island. So if you're looking to support a Canadian uh, company, I would certainly look at Anong's uh, products. We also, speaking of made in Canada, we stock the Stone Ground from Regina, Saskatchewan. Again, look at the size of that. I mean, that whole set still is smaller than my hand. And this is an artist quality watercolor. This is, again, is under $100. We have sets of six and 14, all different kinds all over the counter here that you can see it. Um, then we wanted to show you, oh my goodness, here we are. Brush washer. Always handy for an artist, uh, so also quite small. And I mean, you may have to push it down a little bit to get in the stocking, but I guess it depends on the size of your stocking. Or take it out of the box and show them how great looking it is. Actually, I'll show you how great looking it is. So this is great, if, especially if you are an oil painter. Uh, this holds the cleaner inside. It's tight fitting, so I'm not going to try and, and open it up because I don't want to break all my nails. But it is tight fitting and it's great for cleaning your brushes. Comes with a rubber gasket, which you use just so that nothing gets crushed. And that's wonderful. Uh, we also have from Pan Pastel, anybody who is a, a pastel artist who wants something a little different, they make these really cool little standing sets of different colors. We have a nice variety here in the store. Uh, so Pan Pastel, um, which is really nice. Again, Copics, which are still very, very popular. Uh, these are under $100 for a set of six. Um, always, if someone is looking into getting into markers and sketching, um, always something to check out. Again, we have staff that are fans of Conte. Uh, so this is also a really nice set if you want to give someone just a, an assorted set of colors. Again, metal tin, so very, very handy so it doesn't your, all of your sticks don't get broken. We also have all of these great tools from Foamy and Whiskey Painters. And I'm just going to open that up. So this is the flask uh, container. So this will hold your pans. It's got a flask on the top, which is an insulated metal. Uh, great for holding, perfect for water, um, or if you're using some other kind of medium to go with it. It's got the palette and, of course, the cover, which you can use to hold the water uh, at the end. There, there we go. 
So it looks like that. Again, very, very small. And they all come in their, their own velvet bags, whether it's by Whiskey Painter or by Foamy. Uh, really fantastic products. Unfortunately, I can't show you everything because that will just mean that I'll be talking forever. And I know as much as you all love to hear me, it reaches a point where maybe I lose my voice. Wow, I can't believe I got through all that. There's probably a lot more but as I say, there's, there's so many choices depending what you want to spend. And we wanted to keep everything small just to show you that is you can do all kinds of things that are going to fit into a stocking, into a small gift for yourself or somebody else. Um, Michelle, does anybody have any questions? Well, in case I forgot to wave before, I'm going to wave now. I want to thank you all for tuning in today. And oh, yes, there's a surprise. Well... I want to thank you all for following me almost every Tuesday and watching when I do all these chats. I really like connecting with you and showing you what's happening in our industry, what we're doing. Uh, you know, for those of you that don't know, we've been in art materials for over 50 years. So I still get excited about showing you product, showing you new things that are happening. And I really do appreciate that many of you tune in every week. Uh, to say hi or to see what we're about and please like us on Instagram just to show that we're that you're enjoying what you see. So I want to give back to you. So for today we're doing a prize and the first person who sends us a response by it has to be on Instagram and it is what the question is what is the name of the, what I do each week? What is the name of the talk that I do each week? The first person who sends us the answer will win a $50 Gwartzman's gift card. This can be used in the store or online. We will need your, of course, we'll be in touch to get in touch with you, to whoever wins it. I wish you all luck. I want to thank you again for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you next week. New ideas, new topic, um, and uh, anything to do with art materials. So again, the question is, what is the name of the talk that I do each week? Uh, and good luck. See you then. Bye-bye.